This recent drop-in is less than two years old. In international television, I was hosting political shows in that uh, TV. I was a consultant in uh, obstetrics and gynecology. My TV show was very famous all over Afghanistan. I was working in that hospital as a consultant. We were having uh, debates on current issues and political, social and economical issues of Afghanistan. So in a day-to-day -day basis, I was uh, doing uh, the medical activities that uh, like surgical activities, consultations and uh, ultrasound. We decided along with the British Red Cross a couple of years ago to provide a drop-in so we could have um, people who could come in and get some orientation. I was, I had no other way but to flee Afghanistan. I was involved in the LGBT activities. I faced uh, some challenges. But all I had in Afghanistan, I sold them everything. I was compelled to flee. Uh, because I was persecuted by the local community, by some authorities, and particularly by some religious authorities. I, I read a lot about England, and I knew that the place where... Uh, actually, I search a place where I can boost up my abilities. Eventually, I went through the different stages of homelessness in London. Well, this fitted into the church's mission, which is about trying to find an outreach program. Where I just do not want to live as a refugee. Yeah. Somehow, I had a hope in my heart if I select England, that place would be a good place for me. When you are uh, an asylum seeker, and you are applying to be given a refugee status in this country, you are mentally low. We're now in the, in, in the uh, process of uh, providing hot meals, um, counselling, recreation things, um, obviously casework. The fact that I met people from the tropic helped me to boost up my mental health. I still have those hopes, I still have those ideas and those thoughts. I still want to work for those crises for refugees. It's not just about um, making sure that uh, you're in the right place at the right time, it's about listening to God. Yeah.